Good evening, people of God. This is Pastor Andres um, with Power Boost on tonight, our time of corporate prayer. I pray tonight that you are coming on with a sense of expectation what God is going to do with us on tonight. I want you to know that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen, I am committed to this season of what God is doing in our life. He's causing us to triumph over, over circumstances, over issues, over situations, allowing us to really to feast off his word in his season. We have been in a great season on a uh, great season on faith, talking about faith. Our series of faith in all caps has been tremendous to us in this season. And I pray in this season uh, that you would continue to open up your heart, open up your mind and connect to what God is doing um, in our midst in this season. Uh, this is a time where God is speaking to us. This is a time where God is feeding us, but allowing us to take what we are learning in this season about faith and apply it to our everyday life. I want you to be encouraged in this season, knowing that this is your season to be blessed. This is your season to conquer uh, things that God has placed in your life. This is a season for you to lift up your heart, to lift up your mind, to lift up your spirit, to know that God is real in this season. I'm so grateful uh, to be able to, uh, to to teach, to pray with you in this season, to seek God for you in this season, to intercede uh, for you in this season. It's my privilege. It's my honor. Uh, to serve God's people in this season. I pray um, that you will sense uh, the Spirit of God moving um, in your life in this season. I declare over your life this week uh, that this is your week uh, to be fruitful. This is your week to flourish. This is your week to walk in divine favor. This is your time and season to manifest that God wants you to utilize your faith to allow your faith to take you to the next level. Good to see you, Brother Daryl, uh, tonight. And so listen, as we come in uh, for prayer tonight, I want you to do me a favor. Uh, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to uh, to share this post tonight. Uh, I need you to like this post tonight. I need you to share your faith by sharing this post, uh, that, that, that this post can reach as many people uh, that needs God, divine prayer and guidance in this season. And listen, I want you to get prepared tonight with your prayer journals. Listen, I want you to prepare your hearts and prepare your minds. We are going to go in the presence of God, in the in the throne room of God tonight, believing God to do miracle signs of what I believe when I pray that God hears and manifests the, my prayers every time I go to God. Listen, every time I go to God in secret, every time I go to God on whatever level it is, where I am tuned in uh, to the things of God's people. I believe that God answers our prayer. So listen, I pray tonight um, that you'll come on believing that God is about to do something supernatural in our life and that God is about to hear our prayers uh, in this season. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for everything that you're touching in this season. I want you to understand that everything that you touch in this season, that God is going to bless, that God is going to honor, and that God is going to send increase in your life in this season is so it's 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 so important for you to stay connected into with us in this season uh because i know that god has some unique things that he wants to release for the people of god in this season and listen i believe that your connection uh, just you uh, coming by hearing what god is saying is going to bless your ministry that's going to bless your business that's going to take you to the next level why because god is allowing so many people and our spirit of influence to manner to manifest in this season and i want you to be a part of this manifest season where god is going to be begin to show you and give you strategy on how to get things done. You have things in your heart. You have things in your mind. And for those that's out there working hard, you're working, you're trying to juggle and you're trying to make sure that you feed your future. I want you to understand tonight, uh, just as I've been doing lately, and I want to share something. When God is giving you a vision, you can work the vision. You can pray over the vision. You can, you can ask God to do miraculous things and worship over your vision. But listen, when you begin to get to that last trimester of your vision, when it's about to come forth, everything sometimes seems to begin to happen. Uh, people that you are in connected with, certain things that begin to, to, to happen out of character, out of nowhere. And you begin to ask God, God, now listen, I am in the birth position 
and I'm giving, I'm about to give birth to something great, something I think that you'll be pleased with, something that's going to allow my family to be blessed for years. But in that season, you got to, you got to intercede. You got to come before God's throne boldly. You got to come before God's throne with, with, with humility. You got to come before God's uh, uh, um, throne, believing and trusting God by faith, knowing that he's going to produce what you have put before him. I declare over your life, man and woman of God tonight, that the things that you're believing God to manifest in this season, I'm touching and agreeing with you right now, believing that it's going to come to pass. But listen, when you almost to the, to the finish line, I need you to push in prayer. I need you to pray even stronger because I want to make sure that you not only push it out to get for completion, but I want you to push that thing to the next dimension because God has something good in your life in this season. So good to see so many of you all. Kamalita, good to see you. Pastor Clutchfield, good to see you. Uh, uh, Fonzie, good to see you. I know that's not your name. That's your old name. Good to see you tonight. Uh, good to see all you all that's coming on tonight. Uh, uh, Murray, good to see you tonight. Listen, I'm believing God for you uh, in the season. Good to see you, Brother Vince. I'm believing God for you in this season that God is going to shift and that God is going to bless your vision, your household, your marriage, your relationship, everything that you're touching. I pray tonight that God will keep you in perfect peace as you keep your mind stayed upon him because God has has so much in store for you. And listen, I need you to operate in peace, believing that God is going to answer the prayers of his saints. He's going to answer the prayer of his people and that God is going to allow us to see the fruit of our labor. Listen, I want you to understand that God wants you to receive the fruit. He says, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, ask what you will and it shall be done. He also says, if you abide in me, he says, I'm the, I'm the true vine. He, he, said, he says, if you abide in me, he said, you can ask what you will. He says, sometimes I come, I begin to prune those things that don't need to be around. He says, but when I begin to prune, you're going to flourish even more. I want you to understand that this is your season to manifest. This is your season to flourish. And listen, I want to get this word of God to you continuously to build up your faith, to inspire to, to is, inspiration means to inspire. I want to inspire. I want to put that spear of, of hope, that spear of, of, of that you can make it, that you can do it on the inside of you. So in this season, you can rise above every circumstance. You can rise above every obstacle. You can rise above everything that will get in your way, knowing that God has been with you all the way up to this point. And listen, I want to declare tonight that he is not going to leave you nor forsake you. He says, I'm going to be with you until the end of the ages. Listen, that is something to give our God praise tonight for, that God is a consistent God. God is a right now God. And listen, I said on, on this past Tuesday night, God is operating and he's working in our future. I declare that over your life tonight that's watching, that God is working and he's operating in your future. I want you to be prepared. I want you to, I want you to pray. I want you to plan. I want you to get to people that's around you, prepare for what God is about to do in your life. Listen, I remember going on trips with my mama and my cousin, Every year we used to go to uh, uh, Cedar Point and listen, mom used to get up early in the morning and fry that good old fried chicken, made sandwiches for us, did all type of the, my auntie and them, they did uh, dishes and got all of us together. And listen, we prayed because we prepared food for the road. We, we, we prayed for our destination and we had anticipation for where we was going. I want you to, I want you to understand tonight that God wants you to prepare he wants you to pray for your destination and he wants you to have a level of excitement on where he's about to take you and your family in this season. And listen, if you believe that tonight, I want you to give God praise. If you believe in God for your ministry, you believe in God for your co-worker, you could be believing God for somebody that's connected to you in this season. Listen, I don't want to leave nobody behind because listen, I declare tonight we're going all the way up. I, don't de I declare tonight that the hand of the Lord has anointed us for this season to produce. Listen, tonight as we get ready to go uh, into uh, the word of the Lord tonight, I pray tonight that you will open up your heart. Walanda, um, uh, I need to contact you. I'm going to send you my information. If you need me, holler at me. Uh, I want you to be able to get uh, directly in contact with me. But listen, people of God, tonight, I pray tonight 
that God, uh, that God begins to shift us. No matter what you need for God at this season, when we pray tonight, I'm, I'm declaring tonight in the atmosphere that God is going to answer our prayer. That God is going to prepare you for the things that you have to do in the coming weeks, in the coming days, the things that you are in the process of doing right now. I declare tonight that God is going to be with you. But listen, in this season, we are in a series on faith, faith in all caps. Listen, you're going to have to have hang time while God begins to do what he needs to do. But also, you're going to have to have the ability to trust God to manifest those things he's releasing in your life. But listen, last this past Tuesday, we, talk, we taught on 10 principles of faith. I want you to go back and look at, look, look at it on Facebook and hear what the Lord was saying to us tonight uh, on that night. Because I, listen, I want you to be prepared for what you're praying for. And understand that you're going to have to occupy your faith. You're going to have to activate your faith. You're going to have to manifest your faith. And every day, whatever you believe in God for, I want you to sow seeds of faith. Because God has given you kingdom authority to operate in a dimension of faith that should shift your world. That should heal your body. That should heal your that should heal your heart from brokenness. That should can begin to restore you to 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 what to, to, to what God created you to be in the earth. I want you to understand that this is the will of God concerning you, and that God wants you to be blessed. God wants you to walk in divine favor. God wants you to walk in divine peace, and He does not want you to worry in this season based on what you're believing God for. This is a season to pray and not worry. Tonight, as we get ready to go uh, into our prayers tonight, uh, if you have a prayer concern tonight, please um, lift, um, put them in the comment section tonight. And listen, I pray tonight that you will hear uh, what God is going to say to us on tonight. Uh, people of God, I believe that this is a season where we should trust God with everything that we uh, that everything with everything that we have, knowing that God is going to bless us tremendously. Tonight, uh, I want you to prepare your hearts. I want you to prepare your minds. I want you to prepare your spirit as we get ready to go into prayer. Listen, I want to go straight into prayer tonight. And listen, for those that are saying, Pastor, I need a touch from God. I'm believing for a special miracle in my life. I'm believing God to stir up some things in my life. I'm believing God to shift me into a different dimension. I'm believing God to cover me because, listen, I need God operating for those that God is pushing you out there in ministry. I'm praying for you behind the scenes. I want everything to work in concert so it will not be rough, that it will be easy. Yes, God is going to give us all of our own testimonies to allow us to understand that he's with us. But listen, I want to I want to be in covenant with you in this season, praying for your marriages, praying for your business, praying for your ministries, praying for your sons and your daughters, praying for the salvation of God's people, whatever that is that you need tonight, we're going to give it to God because we believe that when we pray, we pray believing that the word of God said we can have whatsoever we say. Listen, I want you to understand tonight that God wants to put you in the game of miracles. We have seen in the Bible so many people that God has blessed. This is your season for God to give you a testimony that he did it. Not, 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 not nobody else get the credit, but God gets the credit that he blessed your family. He gave you wisdom. He gave you direction to go to the next dimension. Father, tonight I touch and agree tonight. I declare in the atmosphere that this is our season to manifest. I touch and agree tonight with your people tonight, believing that miracle signs and wonders is hitting our life in this season. I declare tonight that the favor and the power of God is being released in the life of your people to do great exploits in the earth. You said in your word that I come to that, that you may have life uh, to it full till it overflows. Another translation said, I come that you may have life and life more abundantly. I declare the abundant life for God's people. Can I pray that you'll bless us in the midst of this pandemic? God, in the midst, God, of us personally, God, God, seeing certain things go on in the earth that we are dis, uh, 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 grunted with, that we're, that we're looking at, praying to you to change, God. We pray that you will begin to bless our nation, that you will change.
change our nation. God, that you would give us what we need, God, to combat our nation. I pray that we as the people of God will stand bold and that we would declare, that we will pray, and that we will speak until things begin to shift in the atmosphere. God, anoint us to pray in this season. God, anoint us to do greater works in this season. God, allow us to pray until things begin to shift in our bodies. Things begin to shift in our minds. Things begin to shift in our hearts. God, I pray tonight for our nation. I pray, God, for everyone that's on this live tonight, all across the country, all across the world, wherever they may review this tonight go or in the coming days, I pray tonight that you will begin to break strongholds. God, that you will begin, God, to break generational curses. God, that you will begin to open up doors in their life for them to produce in this season. God, I pray tonight, God, that they will not live paycheck to paycheck. I pray tonight that you will create tithers to give to back to you so you can allow their life to flourish in this season. God, we're not going to trust you on one level and doubt you on the other level. God, you said a double-minded woman or man is unstable in all his ways. I declare tonight that we are not doubling minded, that we are believing you, God, and we are trusting you tonight to set forth miracles. Come on, somebody, begin to pray wherever you at tonight. Pray in your heavenly language or, or just pray uh, right where you at in English tonight. God, I pray tonight that you'll begin to shift us, that you'll begin to bless us, that you'll begin to open us up, God, to for what you have. God, we want to save a nation. We want to save marriages. We want to save, God, the community. God, we want to do our part, God, in this season. And so, God, we pray right now that you will send a fresh wind. God, we are believing you personally, God, that you will heal our bodies, God. God, that you will touch us, that you will get us through the treatments, God. We declare tonight that things are moving and things are getting better. I declare the healing power of God to touch the people of God tonight. I, de I declare the faith infusion that your people need that you will release it tonight I declare God for those that are having trouble trusting you I pray tonight that they will put it all on the line that they will give themselves all to you tonight God that you will begin to meet every need that we have tonight your people have needs tonight God God they, they need you God in a special way God some of them been dealing with stuff in silence and God has built up silent frustration and I pray right now that you'll begin to destroy it tonight I pray right now that you'll begin God to shift them that you'll begin to bless them that you allow them to align up with your word so they can see the fruit of what they've been desiring in the season. We trust you tonight to manifest, God. We trust you tonight to open up the door. I pray for that person that's asking God, God, I need you to shift my finances. I pray first, God, that it will be a tither and a giver, giver that they will trust God in the season. I pray that you will open up the supernatural door of opportunity for them tonight. Come on, somebody, receive this tonight. God, I want you to catch this tonight. God, I pray that you'll begin to open up supernatural funding, God, for the project. I pray right now that you will not allow them to, to, to gaze and to daze. Just add the, pam add the pandemic, God. I pray right now that they will daze and glaze at the promises of God. That's yay and amen. I declare tonight, God, that we're going to stand on your word. That we're going to stand in boldness. God, we're going to stand in humility tonight. We're going to trust our creator, our sovereign God. The God that sits high and looks low. The God that gets in the midst of our situation it begins to manifest the grace of God over our life. I pray for that pastor that's leading of the pastors in the season, lead, leading of the leaders in the season. I, I pray, God, that you'll begin to rise them up and God, give them something to say. Give them the spirit, God, to lead your people. God, give them the spirit, God, to have management. God, God don't allow us just to be speaking, but God, give us something on the inside that we can manifest for our our region, our community, and even the world. I pray that you'll bless every civic leader, every leader that's leading in business, God. I pray that you will bless them today. I pray that you'll open up our hearts to know that you are a true and a living God. Bless our sons and daughters. Bless our households. God, keep us from sickness and disease. Watch over us and protect us. I pray right now for that person that's pregnant, that's asking God, God, get me through this. Keep me through this. I'm pregnant in the pandemic, but God, give me. I, I pray that you will cover them tonight. Pray that you will bless them tonight. For that person is saying, God, I, I, I want to walk into my own thing, my, my, my own situation. And I need you to open up the opportunity 
And God, make me more open. Allow me to be, to be more friendly, God, that I can have the friends that I need that may be the key to my destiny. They may be the wild card in my life that I've been missing. I pray that you'll bless your people wherever they may be tuned in tonight. Bless their marriages. Bless their households. Bless their children. God, give us a strategy to go back into these schools. Whatever you say, at thy will, Father. We submit ourselves to you tonight. God, I pray, God, that you would give us your peace. God, give us what we need to manage in this season. God, save us, God. Allow us to be saved and, God, living for you in this season. God, we may not be perfect, but, God, we thank you for a righteous God that covers us in the name of Jesus. And we thank you tonight for every person that you have allowed to come into our space tonight. We declare that this is the season for us to go to the next level. I declare power in the season over the life of your people. And we trust you tonight. We honor you tonight. And we lift you up tonight because the favor of God is over our life to manifest. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. And thank God. People of God, listen, I love you tonight. And don't, don't rush off tonight. I want to say something to you. I declare tonight over your life that God is going to bless you in ways that you had not even imagined. I want you to stay faithful to the things of God. I want you to stay committed. I don't want you, I don't care, I don't care what's going on every Tuesday night. I want you to make sure that you make, I mean, every Thursday night, I want you to make sure that you're in prayer. No matter what you have, set you alarm, set your notification that it's time for prayer in 10 minutes, five minutes. So you can get, I don't care if you're in the car with, 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 with your staff. Let's allow them to know that you honor God with a sacred moment. I want you to make that make this a sacred moment. I'm not going to even ask you for an offering tonight. I'm not going to ask you for anything. Only thing I want to, I'm not going to ask you for anything monetary. Only thing I want to ask you for tonight, that you will make this a sacred time between you and God. That God will bless you. That God will, that God will allow this time to allow you to see fruit from this time that you pray every Thursday night at 7. That you begin to see your attitude get better. That you begin to say, God, created me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. One of my prayers every day is, God, make me a better person. We, we don't know it all. I don't care the leadership mantle that you may hold. I don't care what, 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 what part of leadership that you are in on your job. We should be praying certain things that begins to deal with the inner person of us. One of my, my, one of my sacred prayers, God, make me a better person. That should be your prayer. God, God, make me to love the unlovely. Help me to deal with your people. Allow me to have the kind of personality that you had. And that God, the, 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 the power that you had to endure things so other people can manifest. I pray tonight that you will make Thursday nights your, your sacred time of prayer. With the body of Christ. Yes, you have your prayer times every day or you have it once a week, wherever you have it. But on Thursday night, I want you to come to Power Boost. We're releasing the power of God to boost God's people in this season. Listen, I love you all tonight. And listen, I pray that you will continue to pray for us. We will be in high communion on 12 noon this coming Saturday. I want you to join us in communion. You got to get your sacred sacraments ready. Get your wine, get your, I mean, get your uh, 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 um, uh, 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 grape juice and crackers, whatever you're going to use. I'm thinking about the, about the Bible. Uh, whatever, whatever you're going to use, I pray that you will use it and that you will come to this sacred moment hearing what God has to say to us as we begin to break the bread of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and take of his blood. And that God will begin to do and to manifest great things in this season. He says, often as you do it, you show forth my death and my suffering till I come. Listen, I love you tonight. Father, bless us as we get ready to go. Consecrate us for your purpose. Lift us up, God, where we belong. Strengthen us tonight, God, where we weak. God, feed our minds, God, until we want no more. Allow us to hunger, thirst after righteousness. Your word said, if we do, that we shall be filled. Fill us, God, tonight. Come with manna from on high in Jesus' mighty name. I love you tonight. And listen, I'm praying for you. Can you do me a favor? Pray for me today. So wish for a prayer that God will continue to bless us, to bless our ministry, and to bless me personally. God bless you. Be encouraged.